56 years ago, Sierra Leoneans made a great decision as a nation to gain freedom and manage their affairs. 2007 to now, Sierra Leoneans are witnessing massive development all over the country. The health sector is picking up again. More hospitals and community health centers are emerging in urban and remote communities. Advancing in healthcare, the Chinese are currently building an ultra-modern hospital at Lumbly. Through the road transformation program, more farmers are now accessible to nearby markets than ever before. Roads linking cities, towns, and remote areas are now a reality. As part of the continuous effort by the government in providing quality and affordable education, the President, Dr. Ernest Bai Koroma, officially opened the Limcockwing University of Creative Technology in Freetown. This is Limcockwing University of Creative Technology. This is an international university with international learning systems brought to us in Sierra Leone. Limcockwing worldwide seeks to promote a different kind of education in all the branches in all the world, changing the way young people are educated, promoting creativity and innovation for the positive transformation of every country. For Sierra Leone, as far as education is concerned, particularly so tertiary education, Limcockwing University of Creative Technology is a blessing. We are taught here how to be creative and innovative to fuel the development and transformation of our beautiful Sierra Leone. Learning is fun here. Learning is international with the correct ecosystem that promotes learning for us as individuals. It's just fabulous being at Limcockwing University of Creative Technology. I want to thank His Excellency the President, Anes Baikoma for bringing such an opportunity for the young people in Sierra Leone. Three universities have been established in just nine years, and more are going to be established, including one in the Eastern region. Being aware of the importance of electricity to national development, the President, under the Agenda for Change, prioritized electricity generation and distribution by increasing the national capacity from below 20 megawatts inherited in 2007 to over 90 megawatts. And presently, with an installed capacity of over 168 megawatts, the Ministry of Energy has been given a target to provide homes with solar with a minimum of 200,000 by this year. Lumbly and Abdeen Road are currently installing electrification that will supply light to the beach road and the surrounding community. With its palm-fringed beaches, breathtaking mountains, tropical rainforests, and vibrant culture, Sierra Leone is on the move to revamp its tourism industry. The government is making huge efforts to meet the needs of tourists by ensuring the provision of tourist amenities, facilities and services of appropriate quantity and quality. The fiber optic project that is set to ease the problems of information communications technology, or ICT, services in the country. With a fiber optic infrastructure in place, capacity and distance, as well as cost, will be a great advantage. The fiber optic project is to ensure that ICT services are reliable, accessible, and affordable by everyone, and to a very large extent, contribute to the socio-economic development of the people and the country as a whole. So the fiber runs from France right across other African countries, and then you have a branch that run, comes to Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone is part of the ACE Consortium, Africa Coast to Europe. It runs from the sea and then it lands here first. This is our own beach manhole. We call this point the beach manhole. You will see we have two cables there. The one is the fiber itself that runs through it, and then the other cable is for power. And that is getting power from our power feeding equipment inside our equipment room. It's being used to power our equipment on the sea, that is the repeaters. Sierra Leone is rising again, but to sustain the renewal, everyone must collectively work harder to consolidate the peace, foster national cohesion, and generate more of its own revenue. 
The building of the new Sierra Leone requires collective determination. Everyone to pay heed to the thoughtful words of the national anthem and the creed for unity, freedom, and justice. <laughs>